What's going on, guys? Welcome to another show. And happy almost New Year's to you guys. That's probably going to see this on New Year's Eve. Well, thank you so much for joining the show. So, everybody, at least in YouTube, are showing their best pulls of the year, of the year 2022. And that's cool and everything, right? So, you know, stepping outside of the box, I want to show at least the last day of 2022, show you my best pull of the year. And yes, this danky looking folder. All right. And it interests me. I bought this about four months ago. And what I'm going to do is actually show you what's inside and what it got me interested. But um, I'm going to show you in the end uh, how much I paid for this. Uh, you won't believe it. I don't know. So other than that, let's see what's inside. All right, let's take a deep breath. Why is that? I've only opened it and I've not taken out the cards yet uh, because I'm very careful now on how to handle the cards. And look at this, your boy's wearing some gloves <laughs> on one hand. <laughs> Make sure no fingerprints are coming in there. And of course, you know, I got my bare hands because I'm gonna show you guys some more data on what I found out about these cards because uh, again, you know, coming back from a 25 year hiatus of Pokemon cards, you know, still trying to learn what sets these are. And so between, you know, 20 years and now there's some sets I didn't know about. So ready for see the first page. Um, there you go. So upon seeing this, you know, and looking at picks and, um, you know, I, I feel like they're just common cars, but you can see some of the starters here. Some are like, reverse hollows and whatnot and as you can see I am gonna pull now the uh, that's it this is what I hate because you know talk about proper card handling uh, of the last owner he didn't put um, sleeves in it so they're just raw and but as you can see he didn't really play with it and touch it the cards are in immaculate form and um man they're like near mint condition and i did use my tcg player and this is from apparently the ruby and sapphire um series that came out in late 2003 um and to my surprise and let me show you my phone right now to my surprise according to tcg player a booster pack of this if you were to buy it now today present time you'll have to pay 340 dollars for that booster packs yes let that sink in for a moment so we have about pages and pages of ruby and sapphire um and there's some rare hollows now in the works, such as, and excuse me, like the bus, I have to leave it later on. A hollow electabus. Looks like a hollow in, hollow out. A hollow Sableye. A hollow Manectric. Non hollow Salamance. I'm going to ask is not hollow. I believe in here we have a reverse Blaziken and a reverse Swampert. So, not a hollow, it's reverse Grovelap. So, yeah, um, you know, there's some non hollow Gyarados. Um, Embryon right there, non hollow. So we'll have prices on those um, as I pull it out because I will pull it out as far as some rares that I pull out of here and we show it to you guys. So Ruby and Sapphire, $340. Can only imagine. I mean, according to um, T 
TCG player a common portrait for like only 76 cents. So, you know, that was that. All right, so let's skim through it and I will show you guys um, in a little bit as far as, you know, what these guys cost. All right, so um, take my gloves off. The gloves are off. Here we go. So none of these really piqued interest in me. And of course, you know, I was getting, I uh, was losing interest from the seller, contacting, text messaging, um, you know, just showing page by page in a text. Of course, you know, he saved all the best along the last. So again, horsey, reverse hollows, and he's been collecting since his young age. And you will see some unusual uh, cards because he collects both uh, American and um, what you will call it, Asian style. So look at that a small teaser already on what you will see next you see that so no this is not the, what the cards condition are but man so here you go guys take a deep breath before you see this because i could not believe it as well here we go well bam yes i'm sure you already see the center star of the stage a dark charizard from the team rocket um series and you can see a dark gyarados as a first edition stamp right there um a dark blast toys from team rocket uh it looks like a needle king um, from i don't know base set two maybe it doesn't have that base set two we have hollow articuno uh fossil hollow for alligator uh, not sure yet get that price for you and alakazam from the base set two as well as electabuzz base set two you got the signal or sign there and there you go a japanese um card there i am lost for words and i'm not sure because i'm double thinking uh you know once i take it out I got do with gloves and you know exact knife if they're hollow or not or if there's a regular hollow there's still some you know value in there but we will see so that's just the tip of the iceberg guys again this is why I'm, I'm making this like the best pull of 2022 for me look at that again all right so let's go to this page <laughs> yes um it's bananas so there you go, um, a hollow Gyarados, um, a hollow Hypno, a Japanese hollow alligator, uh, which I think it's different art. Yeah, it is different art. And then um, let's see, a non hollow Zapdos there from Fossil, uh, Dragonair from Base Set 2. So yeah, he collected those American and Japanese uh, Giovanni trainer. There's your Japanese um, zap those. It looks kind of dirty and dinky. I'll take it out carefully and see the real condition. Um, we'll put it in the sleeve or whatnot. Uh, a needle came again. Um, this is uh, a non hollow or hollow Gengar. Can't see. It looks like a, not a, Gengar, but a hollow. Snorlax and look at this guys I could not believe it an English and Japanese hollow Dragonite from Fossil yes uh, this guy was a local collector I mean he pretty much collected all the rare ones and there you go again another hollow Zapdos and a hollow Gengar Japanese hollow Magneton and a reverse Mente. Moving on to the next page, a Vaporeon, a Nine Tails hollow, Kangaskhan hollow, a Mewtwo hollow, no hollow Vaporeon. 
And a needle came from base set too. How groovy is that? And then, pretty much a non hollow base set two fossil uh, team rocket. But yeah, that's what we got. I mean, all the rest are just energy, energy, energy. So, um, there's some more in the back. All right, so looks like some uh, base set starters. There's the Bulbasaur, the Bulbat. Must be doubled. He had double in there. I'm not sure yet if he got double. Yeah, I'm gonna check every nook and cranny to see if he's hiding anything else. But I'm gonna gut this out. All right. And then there's some base set twos. Um, yeah, there was some more things that interest me early on. Um, coming up soon. So these are the Japanese starters. Yeah, I mean, some bit really vintage stuff came out of this. Couldn't believe it. That was an honor. I already saw the first page that you saw with Dark Charizard. I mean, pretty much. That's what it was already. Yeah, so there you go. What is it? A red cheek Pikachu. <laughs> and it looks like it's in pristine condition, like not pulled out, it was just kept. So perhaps I mean just pulling it out would be like the very first and it looks like there's more than one card in there, so it'll be a bonus to receive all that all right so next stage we're going to pull them out and then um, we'll get them all priced up all the hits as far as what I see okay let me know in the comments if I miss anything but here we go all right all right all right <laughs> the Matthew McConaughey there um, so it didn't take a while for y'all to watch this but it did take me for a while to do this this status of putting them in hard surfaces and sleeves. But let's go ahead and see, check all these hits that I saw in that folder, okay? So these are the notable um, mentions, honorable mentions here, because they're, you know, reverse hollows there. So this is from the Ruby Sapphire um, sets. We've got the Swamper. Reverse hollow, I should be being reflected there. They have the blaze again. Reverse hollow. There you go. So let me see if I can bring up the camera again some more. There you go. So blaze again. The grow wild. Reverse hollow. Wash stop. Comments. Check comments. Here we go. Base set. Needle King. Yes. Um, the good news is, um, you know, when I scanned this from my TCG player uh, app on my phone, they're like near mid condition. But um, the bad news is, um, when it comes to grading, these are not going to be your PSA 10s or Black Label, you know, Vega 10s or you know the CGC tents because uh, the condition you know outside of the pocket and I, I was careful I use gloves and everything and try not to crimp them and try to put them out of the sleeves because you know that's the hardest part of you know buying these collections from collectors and then you know they didn't take care of it didn't put at least a uh, you know soft sleeve in there uh, to begin with to the card so um 
I'm going to show you some of the things that the car suffers. So you won't see it, but there's a lot of like those dust cloth or something like that. I try to do my best to get rid of it, but yeah. Um, not sure if the camera will do justice as far as the whitish, you know, boundaries in there. It looks like, you know, the, it's bent there in the edges. So this for sure may not pass. Um, you know, I'm not worried about centering too much because I've seen, I've had returns from PSAs to where, you know, they suck. I should have gym in 10 my card where the back is like not even so it's kind of bizarre but anyway it looks like the centering piece in the back doesn't matter as far as what happened so all right and um yeah so we got packs from you know ruby sapphire we have neon genesis um fossil jungle base set to uh, and Team Rocket, so this, you know, is crazy. So, Hypno Hollow from Fossil, Electibus EX, all right, from Ruby Sapphire. So that's one of them. This may get graded considering it's phenomenal condition. A stable eye. Hollow rare. That looks nice too. Manectric. Hollow rare. Looks nice. Yeah. Mistrevis. Alright. Neon Genesis. Yeah, 1996. That's phenomenal condition. All right, so here's one of them that uh, looks beat up on the outside. I did take out a lot of the stains, but a Gyarados base set. So, hollow rare. It's just going to be in the collection. This is a non hollow dark Gyarados. I was kind of hoping it was hollow to get me, but it was not. Um, yeah, so we got that from Team Rocket. This is the Dark Blastoise non hollow as well from Team Rocket. And uh, looks very nicely centered, but again, it's not hollow, so may not come into fruition at good price. Um, Articuno from Fossil. Yeah, um, stains are. For real, I mean, can't get it out. Nicely centered, though. Yeah, the centering is good, and then there's the edges already that's bent out, so it may not pass grading. Of course, one of the best, probably highest price card in here, the set, this Dark Charizard. So you probably had your eye on this, you know, a long, long time ago already, but. Um. To be honest, it looks like it's a good, you know, near mint condition. It's probably going to be PSA 10, and that's what I'm hopeful about. Uh, my only concern, however, it might not be a PSA 10, is because of the corners that are bent there, as you can see on the focus there. And yeah, I'm not sure. At most, probably going to be a. Or something like that. Again, probably would be the highest level I can get in Dark Charizard out. Many other copies that I have. Also, this gem right here for Alligator, you see the gem there. So, not bad at all. Yeah, so the edges are good. I mean, a little nicked there, but we'll see how that goes. All right, so another one is this hollow rare magneton, the Japanese uh, fossil. Um, looks good. Uh, yeah, 
looks good nothing too crazy now look at this japanese gengar also on the awesome deal um little miscentered so you know that could be that could be an issue this is a Wizard of the Coast promo intake reverse hollow. And it would be kind of nice if it was hollow inside too. But other than that, it's in great condition. Um, oh, I do see a nick there, so I'm going to pass G110. Um, Big Boreon from the Jungle Hollow. Looks clean, looks somewhat miscentered on, on the left side. Um, good condition, so put that there. And there's that base set too. Um, Nine Tails, yeah, it's that symbol right there now for sure. Um, it looks good. The edges and stuff looks good, so that may pass. A Kangaskhan Jungle Hollow. Um, not sure they gave these out. Um, in a promo before, but yeah, it's <sighs> the corner are just super nicked and cannot see this passing an eight or seven grading. This is a Mewtwo uh, base set. Uh, hollow inside looks very good. Nick, though, um, there as you can see, a little white in there and there. So, here's a base up to labeled Needle King again. Uh, what should we call it? Yeah, it's immaculate condition and you know, very readable. Yeah, I'd be surprised if not 10. And look at this red cheek Pikachu from the jungle line. Um, perfectly centered, and can't believe there's only one in there. There are a lot of multiples that the most collectors have. <laughs> yeah. What's this? All right. An Alakazam base set two looks good. Center, yeah. For me, I thought it was shadowless, but no, it's incredible. And then for Alligator, all right, from the Legendary Collection, I believe, or New Genesis, I'm not sure, but there you go. For Alligator, a little off centered on the right so base set zapdos japanese style again it looks gradable we'll see how that goes if we get a 10 this time and then uh yeah a g1 trainer surprisingly has a price uh, post that there Another Needle King uh, based on Hollow. The only issue is here you'll see a line there. I'm not sure how visible that can be, but that's actually that line on the card. It looks like it's nicked or folded. Uh, yeah, a large tear in there. Um, so definitely just going to be in the collection, not given. Um, another one is a Snorlax. From the jungle uh, collection, uh, very good condition, I must say. Um, the back is great too. So, and there you go, a non-teaser, uh, a Dragonite, uh, very centered, and only problem is very nicked in the edges so I'm gonna try to um, grade this one and see where it's gonna go where it's headed 
um, Pokos can be a 10. Um, another one is this Japanese version. Again, it's a little bit beat up condition um, in the edges here and there, here and there. So may not make it to an eight maybe. And again, this is a base hollow Zapdos again. Perfect condition, pristine in the back, highly gradable. So, all right. Okay, so almost forgot, but didn't. I actually paid for this and drum roll, please. $340. That's right. I bought a car that's much higher than I bought this book for. But yeah, I was really stoked that the seller took my offer. Um, you know, I may have, you know, lowballed him a little bit, but hey, you know, art of negotiation and, you know, stuff like this, uh, you know, like books like this in eBay, which I did see sell about 300 to 500. So, think within range medium range I offered the right price but yeah it's really cool and um, you know I think we made some profit if even we get you know some PSA 10s or 9s um, we are well above the profit some of those cards are already paid you know one of those cards already paid for the whole notebook so yeah I was really stoked All right. well I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode and yeah so i would cons still consider this my best pull of the year and let me know what you think in the comments down below also please like subscribe and let's grow in the next year again 2010 to 22 was a great year uh, to start the sh you know the show and pulled a lot of great hits i may post you know best pulls of 2022 in the next upcoming episode that um i can fit in my schedule other than that, uh, remember this, God loves you, we love you, and Jesus is Lord. Happy New Year, guys. Bye.